Do you remember when we were in juniors and I used to come round your house and we used to do our airfix kits? Hmm. Do you remember how your dad used to yell at you? God, I used to be scared stiff of him. Matthew, what do you mean by leaving these wet marks all over the toilet seat? <laughs> and then he came down and yelled at you some more. He was sort of hitting you around the head. And I was sitting there wincing. Actually, I was so scared I peed in my pants. <laughs> You always were a bit of a sad little bastard. <laughs> Why it is, Martin, when you've got a father like my father, you've got to lock horns with him or he'll destroy you. He will stamp on your bollocks, believe me. And you'll go through life a walking shadow of the boy you could have been. Trouble was, he was a big bastard, my dad. <laughs> I know. I had to wait till I was 16. And one day, he came out of the bathroom and he said, what exactly do you mean by leaving these funny, stiff stains on the guest towels? I mean, what exactly are they, Matthew, eh? And I said, they're spunk, Dad. <laughs> and I hit him as hard as I could in the face and went right down the stairs, game on. Blimey. And I knew at that moment that I'd cracked it. I knew that I could meet him as an equal, face to face, man to man. And I went downstairs to where he was lying. <laughs> and he was, and I said, Dad? And he was just lying there. And I knelt down by him and I lifted his head up. And his neck was like all loose. <laughs> he was dead, Martin. <laughs> I killed my own father. Bloody hell. I thought your dad was killed in a car crash. What? Well, yeah. Yeah, that too. <laughs> I mean, I was, I was gonna do it. And then, then he had that car crash first. <laughs> I'll go and get the curry now, right? 